Hi guys, this is Sylvie and I've got my friend uh, Lizzie with me. What's the story about today? Well, I was going to say, did you know that the earth was once flooded? The whole earth was once flooded. Isn't that incredible? And that came about because um, there was a, a, a gentleman called Noah. And um, in God's eyes, he was righteous. He did the right thing. Righteous means good, did the right thing. But um, it, scripture says it, it really pained God, God's heart, the violence and all the horrible things that were going on in the earth. And uh, he created this flood to destroy it. But he saved Noah and his family. Oh yeah, the story is supposed to be about the Tower of Babel. Where does the Tower of Babel come into it? Well, it was after the flood and um, Noah had three sons. Their names were, um, what their names? Ham, Japheth and Shem. And uh, they had children and their children had children. And they started to increase. That was God's plan to increase all over the whole earth. But um, they were farmers and they would farm and they would um, grow vines to produce wine and uh, eventually the, the grass ran out and they just have to keep spreading out. Um, what about the tower? Well, as they spread out, um, they they wanted to build like a town but they used to build towns out of stone these days we build houses out of brick which we make we fire them and all that sort of thing heat them heat, heat up I don't know quite what it is whether it's concrete or cement or whatever the mixture is for, for bricks but that's how they did it but in the old days it was just stone and um, they worked amongst themselves and they could they realized that they could build bricks they can make bricks and which they fired and it made them nice and hard to build buildings and they realized that out of a, a thing called bitumen which is like I think it's like what they make the roads with these days um, Ashfelt it's like a, like a tar substance that they could use to put between the bricks to hold the bricks together and uh, yeah <laughs> why did they build it well <laughs> what they did was they thought oh this is good we can build a tower we can build a town he said and um, and they thought well we all got together and they they built this um, thought if we build this tower we'll make a name for ourselves and uh, and we don't have to spread out all over the whole earth. And uh, you don't know why they well, what are you saying? Oh, well, God didn't want them to build this tower. So what he did was he confused their speech. And that's why the tower is called the Tower of Babel because in amongst themselves, they couldn't understand one another. And they're all different languages, and that's what, it, what it's like today. We all have different languages. You go to France, it's a different language. We have to learn French. If you go to Spain, it's a different language. Um, yeah, and that's, that's why God did it, because he wanted us, he wants us to build things and plan things uh, for his glory, because scripture says his ways are not our ways, and we're not to do things to make a name for ourselves but to just show how glorious God is I'll say a prayer then yeah Heavenly Father we just thank you for that story about the Tower of Babel and we just ask you to help us to know your plans for our lives Lord Amen that was good wasn't it <laughs>
Where's my original? Let's just get my original. We put that one down there so you can see that one. It stands up. Okay, so I've put the scissors because it's a bit breezy. Okay, so I've cut that out and uh, folded down the centre with the fold line. Like that. And then I folded on the fold lines here. So I folded down the centre first of all. And then I folded on these lines, and the, the lines end at these uh, indents. So I fold down there, and I fold down there, <coughs> and I put double sided sticky tape on these flaps, because they will be, like on here, they'll be folded underneath, and I put um, double sided sticky tape on the back of these flaps in the centre because they will be folded up behind it and they won't be touching anything they just reinforce that centre piece okay so there we go so that's take these off and pop that one down And this one down. Jolly good. Right. And we need to fold it in. So fold that up like that. I'll just do it my way around first of all. So that I can. Sort it out. Okay so this one. Needs to be. Flat down there. On that line. So if I put that like that, where does it go on that line? Yeah, it finishes at the end of this line. That finishes. I've got that right way around, yes, that way. That will finish there. So I need to stick it down like that and then put that flap down on that part there. So I'll take the two stick tape off. And put that down there. Just line it up with the the line. When it's in position, just put it down. That's that one. Now, where am I? <laughs> what have I done? Ah, that's it. Oops, it's a bit breezy. And this one, see, it works out like that. Ah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Now, what I'll do now is, I don't have to be concerned about lining anything up. What I'll do is I'll just put that flap down like that. Take the double-sided sticky tape off. Come on, like that, and then fold it over. Ah, now I haven't. That should be just a little bit. See this point here? That sh that doesn't allow me to fold it over because it's a bit over that line. So I'll just have to move this just slightly. Just take that off. That's good about this double-sided sticky tape because it does does allow me to adjust it. Right. Okay. So I'll stick that down. Oops. So that line goes there. Right. We're there. Good 
go down further. You can see the line. Not that it, I suppose it matters, but I'll just put it down a little bit further. Where are we? There we are. Making sure that that bit doesn't go over the centre crease. And that goes there. There. I think we're there at last. Okay, so this is all sticky now, so I'll just fold that over. That folds in the centre. That's it. Okay, so these lines, they're folding backwards. There, I didn't quite to get to my da -da. So there you are. Da -da. I hope you enjoyed making that and it's quite quite simple. Um, See you next time. God bless.